Am I visible and audible? You're audible, Mega. Mega. Okay. And I'm visible as well. No, I'm not able to see you. So I'll start. Yes. Uh, good morning, everyone. This is Megha Gupta from National Board for Quality Promotion, Quality Council of India. I welcome all the participants to this webinar on 5S and Enabler for Business Excellence. Before we begin with the webinar, let me give you a brief about QCI. Quality Council of India was established as an autonomous body under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry with the mission to lead National nationwide quality movement. Our nodal point is the Ministry of Commerce and Industry is the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, that is DPIIT. QCI is driven by the dynamic leadership of our Chairman Mr. Adil Zainal Bhai and Secretary General Dr. Ravi P. Singh. As an apex quality organization, QCI has five constituent boards, NDBCB, that is National Accreditation Board for Certification Bodies, National Accreditation Board for Education and tra Training, that is NABIT, National Accreditation Board for Hospitals and Healthcare Providers, that is NABH, National Accreditation Board for Testing and Calibration Laboratories, that is NABL, National Board for Quality Promotion, that is NBQP. This workshop is also brought to you by NBQP. QCI also has some Special project divisions. First one can be named as Project Planning and Implementation Division, PPID. Another is Project Analysis and Documentation Division, that is PAD. Zero Defect, Zero Effect, that is Z. Training and Capacity Building, that is TCB. With its constituent boards and divisions, QCI continuously leads its mission of nationwide quality movement. Through our webinars and trainings, we try to enrich the understanding of the participants and also enhance the quality of life in various ways. Our today's webinar is on 5S and Enabler for Business Excellence. To learn more about the topic, I invite Mr. Arun Malik, who is an engineer with 45 years of experience in manufacturing automobile, Japanese education, telecom services, pharmaceuticals, consultancy, and his last assignment was as head of business excellence at Bharti Airtel. He is an expert in business management, training and development, quality systems, performance enhancement, change management, and business transformation. He is an award winner of DLCHO on econo economies through quality given by past president, His Excellency Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, and won Best National Six Sigma Project Award for three years. I'm sure you all would benefit immensely from his knowledge and wisdom. Before we move ahead, I would like to share some ground rules for the webinar. Please keep your mics on mute until and unless you need to ask questions. This will help to prevent any distractions. The trainer will prompt you to ask questions and that's when you may unmute and ask questions. Please keep your mics on mute. You may even raise your hands by clicking on the icon so that your name would be announced once we open for questions. You may also type your questions in the chat box and these will be announced during Q&A session. With this, I welcome Mr. Arun Malik and request him to enlighten us. Over to you, sir. Good morning. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the nice introduction, Meghna. Thank you, Pooja Madam. Thank you, Ashish Ji, uh, Thank you, for coordinating. Thank you so much for coordinating this seminar. Thank you, uh, QCI, I, I must thank and welcome everybody on board. Uh, whatever little bit I know of, I would like to share with you on 5S. Uh, Ashish, uh, thanks for offering to support me. Uh, can you uh, enhance the screen size? so that slides are visible to everybody. 
perhaps to me partially the site is visible just see if it's possible so just go back to the previous slide ये पूरा आशीष विजिबल नहीं है इज इट विजिबल द होल स्क्रीन इज विजिबल टू एवरीबॉडी और नो यस सर इट्स विजिबल ओके और राइट थैंक यू राइट यू सी इन ऑर्डर टू लर्न एनी सब्जेक्ट आई एम श्योर मोस्ट ऑफ यू वुड हैव हर्ड अबाउट फाइव एस और यू नो सीन ए प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन फाइव एस but as far as my experience is concerned let me share with you in order to learn any subject the easiest way to learn is to learn the principles and practices of the subject like consider for instance uh, for mathematics the principles are plus minus division and multiplication the reason we call them as principles is because they are unchanging they remain same i mean there there could be many other practices of mathematics calculus integration similarly if you go through sports also again the principles are toughness training you know communication skills listening skills because you need to listen to your other team members you need to listen to what other team is communicating without even communicating so which is very critical listening communication being tough being kind to your colleague tough to your opponent and so so many principles are there now build on these principles for different kind of sports there will be different practices but the principles may be same whether you are trying to be tough to play cricket it could be football or it could be tracking event it could be running it could be jumping so these principles could be universal in nature i mean whether you play cricket or whether you play hockey or whether you play uh, you know javelin or any other game the principles would be unchanging the principle to make you tough to make your concentration higher the principle of being ability to listen to the opponent the principle of being nice to your colleagues and team team working so these principles would not change similarly now right today we are to going to talk about business excellence so what is the first and unique principle of business excellence i wish uh, i had an opportunity to uh, ask seek answer for this question from each one of you but the time and the technology doesn't allow that uh, i am sure each of you would be aware because the principle of business excellence a business is called an excellent excellence achieved a level of excellence if everyone in the organization or each associated with the business says that the value is being created for him or his organization let me clarify this if the employees say that in this organization no value is created for me if the customer says value has to be created for him the investor has to find a value in the business the shareholder has to find a value in the business the management has to find a value in the business the retailers have to find a value in the business if all of them say that they feel value is being created for them then only we can say this business has attained a level of business excellence as is either of them say not only these people but also regulator environment society uh, 
everyone has to say there is a value creation. If some one of them also says that there is no value being created for him or for his organization, then it's not an excellent organization. It's not achieved the level of business excellence. So sustaining performance or sustaining the business excellence may not work. The employees may not allow if they don't find value being created. The regulator may stop the organization. The investor may stop participating. The customer may stop participating. Now, there are various ways to achieve this business excellence in an organization. Ajesh, can we go to the next, please? Again, second fundamental principle. This was found by Samantra Goshal. It is not that others didn't find it. Samantra Goshal was a, uh, I mean, dean of Harvard University and then London School of Business, and he also set up ISB in Hyderabad for us. Unfortunately, he passed away about four or five years back. His recommendation that an organization is successful or an excellent organization if the organization pursues growth and efficiency together. That means sweet and salt together. Most of the organization and such organization who pursue growth and efficiency together are the organization which survive as successfully managed organization for more than, more than 25 years. All of the organization have a shelf life of less than 25 years and you will be surprised to know when he did this research work in 19, 1993, his finding was that less than 4% of the organization only survived for more than 25 years. Less 96% may be working, but they are not an excellent organization. They don't sustain their sustain a, a excellence. Uh, I can see a question emerging from Anant Raman. Anant Raman, uh, 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 is it necessary for you to ask the question now? Then please raise it. Otherwise, we will try to answer the question in the end. If it's the thing you think is need to be answered now, then please ask quickly. Sir, uh, sir, we'll take the question after the webinar. Okay, all right, thank you. So, question is see, this is when you say growth, the money for growth comes from efficiency, not from external investment. So, such organization like Tata's, you know, if you look at Tisco, for instance, decided to become the cheapest steel manufacturer in the world so that the next stage of growth should come from that cost reduction or efficiency in working of the school. And it's more than, I, I think, quite many years when this organization has been working. And working successfully with minimum external investments. Ashish, can we go to the next slide? So the practices, now come practices for business excellence. There are four quadrants in this slide. One is a quadrant of quantum jump and reactive. Second is a quadrant of quantum jump and proactive. Third is a quadrant of incremental growth, reactive. And fourth is incremental proactive. So quantum jump reactive is called as benchmarking. Quantum jump proactive is called as innovation. Quantum jump reactive, uh, sorry, incremental jump reactive is called as problem solving. Uh, proactive incremental is called as 
skies in. I'm sure you would have heard all these four perspectives. Just to clarify, benchmarking is me too. Most of the time these days, benchmarking is done from across companies, across industries rather. When an army wanted to set up a frontline hospital, they did a benchmarking study with with the Navy. That means submarines. How submarines are organized? Because the air conditioning cannot be achieved in a huge size operation theater in Army Defense Frontline. It has to be minimum size. So they did study of a submarine, how items are organized. Innovation is changing perspective, changing way you look at things. I remember when I was working for Escotel, uh, initially when mobile was launched, people were so happy with the services which mobile was giving that there were very few complaints. So we had to find out how will we know customer's perspective. And then we did a benchmark study with the, with the ICU of a hospital. Because in intensive care unit, many people, or rather most of people, most of the, you know, most of the pe those who are admitted in the ICU do not have strength to complain. The, the nurse or the doctor proactively goes and touches them and feels them and then finds out whether they are, how they are feeling. Similarly, in the initial phase of Escotel at Kerala, we launched this process of outcalling customer and, and asking them, what else can we do? So randomly, each month, the number of customers are very few. Each month, at least 25% of the customers were called to find out how can we support them. So this is a practice again copied from a ICU to a service organization. If you look at problem solving, you know, if anything goes wrong, I mean, I mean, I still remember in Kerala and coastal area, which Kerala is mostly coastal, we used to get a lot of complaints of you know, the cable breaking. When we went and observed, uh, we found that most time monkeys would cut the cable. And we came up with a, the, 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 the peon at the location suggested, sir, we can apply grease and the cable will not get cut. Similarly, Kaizen, Kaizen are small, small improvements. I mean, I'm sure you would have done many, each one of you. Now, these are four practices for business excellence in operation area. But these are not only limited to operation area, they are in sales area also, they are in all aspects. They are in financing area, they are in customer, you know, uh, customer satisfaction area, customer delivery area. I don't have time to share with you. I mean, Almighty gave me a lot of opportunity to work on business excellence. excellence beginning from Japan in 1985, working with Ichikawa, and then in various industries in India. I mean, pharma industry, I still remember, was a quality control industry, and it took me, it took us three years to change from quality control to quality assurance. They believed only inspection after manufacturing. So, one such practice which we are going to talk there. So these are given various names of various concepts which combine these practices. There are Six Sigma, there are Deming's wheel, there are, you know, uh, Lean Sigma, there are TQM, the customer loyalty management. There are many concepts. But again, some of these practices and the principles which I declared, shared with you earlier, that is the principle of value creation and also the principle of focusing on on uh, on growth and efficiency both 
and also these four practices that mean these four practices when you say practice means learning from others challenging your paradigms trying to find out causes of failure try for small small improvement rather than a large improvement these are tangible principles and and practices which are used now before we go to there is another principle which is very common can we go to next slide please ashish sir can you move to next slide please now well uh, just press another button just press it again please ashish press it again yeah one more yeah one more see these two cross arrows indicate another principle for a business excellence organization creation one is there should be alignment in initiative between top management and grassroots level second is there should be enough focus or high initiatives taken by the top management to align one is a process for alignment second is initiative to align because if the process by alignment and initiative taken to a line are very low then the relationship between the top and operation level employees is adverse if we only prescribe this is what you are expected to do at operation level they don't like being only instructed because they also have mind and brain and intellectual element which they would like to utilize at second level the if there is an increase in alignment and initiatives are taken to when you say increase in alignment initiative taken means initiative to motivate them to participate in initiative could be recognition initiative could be asking them to participate in teams initiative could be teaching them or training them on various tools etc third level it goes to participation then it goes to collaborative and then it goes to generative then it goes to openness that means the environment is open and they freely come up with ideas and even the you know what they call as open door policy is the md is also available for one hour every week i remember in and actually we had this process and that any person even at peon level can walk in and make a suggestion only thing is he should bring it and return so that he just spends about 2 minutes and then leave that thought so creating this culture is very critical for facilitating business success because business is not only managed by top management middle management but also operation at the end of the day important event is when rubber hits the road and that's at ground level a uh, lot of automation is beginning to happen now lot of digitization a lot of sensors are being recognized but the end of the day uh, i mean i have seen one company which is uh, i won't be able to name the company which is from manufacturing to load loading in the in the trucks is fully digitized when there are few operations even those 10% if they there are only 10% which happen manually but even if one of those 10% goes wrong excellence is not achieved and people remember what went wrong not what went right so this is whether you are doing six sigma whether you are doing five ways whether you are doing tpm this is another principle which is very important and i have seen in my career sir friends that the failures happen not because of people lack of knowledge of tools failures happen because of lack of alignment and lot of lack of ownership at the operation level also at the middle management level 
there is another thing which i don't have time otherwise i would have answered that which is called as wifm it's very common sensical what is in it for me whether it's an employee or a middle management or a top management they always look for answer to this question so there are three basic principles of uh, whatever business one is value creation second is focus on efficiency and growth both together and third is create an alignment and management is responsible to take this initiative to create to create alignment and create so that the culture is created and people find an answer to this question what is the next problem coming to basic 5s it because 5s is one such initiative but any initiative whether it's 5s or tpm or six sigma or you develop your own initiatives i've been fortunate to develop my own initiatives i mean with along with management uh, so the initiative can be only brought to a discipline if there is a cultural shift i mean like in a computer system we have hardware and software only hardware will not make things happen software which i call this the customer trans culture transformation is equally important ashish sir can we go to next slide please okay so we are going to explain what is 5s most important aspect of 5s objective of 5s work environment and uh, uh, summarization when i go through this slides i may not be able to cover all of them but let me only tell you these slides have been developed with very deep perspective and each line has to be mentally probe them to find out what action can be done around that uh, can we go to next slide please coiles is the name of workplace organization and standardization coiles is the name of a workplace organization and standardization methodology that uses a list of five japanese words that start with english letter s uh, ashish ji next slide please uh, see this is uh, relevant for both uh, service as well as manufacturing initially this was uh, launched for manufacturing but later subsequently it has been accepted and it's working very well in service organization also and each of us should be proud that this concept was originally developed by lord buddha not the way it is working but lord buddha actually helped japanese i mean the japanese were the first one to accept this thought that in our mind we should sort our thoughts so that all those which are not relevant for our working or relevant for our living should be thrown out the second thing which lord buddha said was that all those thoughts in our mind should be organized in an orderly manner my thoughts early in the morning and in office and in evening while playing with my child have to be organized in that order and then i must clean them i mean using a concept called meditation so this is what he had evolved 3s sort out your thoughts so the unnecessary thoughts are not there set them in order organize them in a framework which is appropriate for living life and shine means cleanliness 
Now, interestingly, there is a concept most of the European and Americans learn a concept by first working on within themselves. Like consider for instance, you will find books like how to be a salesman, how to be a manager, how to be a good supervisor, how to be a good husband. All these books are available in in in, in Europe and US. But Japanese believe in working in that way and then they change their thoughts, align their thoughts according to the working. So they thought, they actually evolved this concept, first three years, subsequently it became five years, that in a shop floor, they must sort items lying on the shop floor or in a computer system, they must organize their items or various subjects stored in a computer system. So unnecessary are thrown out at a regular frequency and which is called as sort. That means you should be able to distinguish which is between what is necessary and what is unnecessary. I mean, then second S is set in order. That means when you say set in order, we will cover this more in detail as we go along. That means suppose I need to, I mean the designers of good old days, designers of our shirts created a pocket above so that we can pick our pen quickly. Whereas the money is required not that frequently as pen may be. So money is kept in a pocket which is slightly distant, that is the back pocket or money pocket or maybe bag. Now they are set in, in order according to the usage. If there is an item which is required once in a month only, then is kept in a store at a place which is not a costly place. So suppose your office is in, is in and I mean, I'm giving an example of uh, Delhi in a, an expensive area like Connaught Place. The storage, you may not like to use that expensive area for storage, but may use a cheaper area for storage and get that item retrieved once in a month or once in a six months or suppose files which are being brought out only to be shared once in a year with your financial expert, they are kept away. So set in order, then third thing is shine, fourth thing is standardization, and fifth is, uh, fifth is actually sustainability. Now, there are various perspectives from which this is important. Let's go through each one of them and you will I will try to share with you why this is important. Let's go to the next slide, please. Like the first one, which is sort, is distinguishing between the unnecessary and unnecessary. Necessary and unnecessary. See, it is necessary to have operation tools near the near near the lathe or near the scanner or near the device. Whereas the tools which are used for die change, which happens in one once in two months or once in a uh, once in three months or at a higher frequency. It is not necessary to keep it there. Sometimes or most of the time I have seen people keeping unnecessary items close to the operation in case, just in case required. I mean, in case I need to change the die and I'm not able to find a tool. So let me keep it close to the 
machine itself. Now, what I like is each operator gives one key which is being used to tool change near the machine. And there is no place. So I remember when I started my career in one of the organization, we had 39 LN keys lying next to the uh, next to the operation machine. Because each operator used to find a place to keep his key very close to the lathe machine. Second is neatness. Neatness means a place where you enjoy working, where there is no leakage happening. I mean, you know, I, your computer screen is organized so that you can find out a file within one minute or two minutes maximum. Whereas if you take an hour to file a, find a file, that means you are actually working at what could have happened in one minute. So you are working at very low efficiency. One is working at a very low efficiency. Third is cleaning. Cleaning is actually not cleaning. Cleaning to find out what item or what component of the equipment when you clean your car yourself, you find out is there a link at accelerator or is a link at brake or link or a blinker in the uh, rear side, which is likely to go defective very soon. So cleaning is not cleaning, it's actually finding one out or identifying likely defects and then taking preventive action. For this standardization, which means developing a process for sorting, developing a process for keeping it neat, developing a process for keeping it clean, developing a process for cleaning. And the fifth mean means discipline, that means developing a method so that it remains, it remains only the relevant items are available. There is a place for everything and everything in place. And it's maintained neatly, it is maintained clean, and there is a standardization. So we'll go through each of them slightly more in detail. Ashish, can we move to next slide, please? We we'll just go to next slide, please. Please. 5S is actually gateway for total quality, means the journey of total quality begins with 5S or business excellence begins with 5S. That means first have the place organized, get it organized in an order, and then use cleaning to keep it neat. Let's go next, next slide. Ashish, can we go? See, the first thing which is very important, role model. In this picture, when cleaning drive or such a dog, uh, uh, which is started now, in this picture, you find Mahatma Gandhi doing that role model. Go to next slide. This is equally critical for social life as well as in here, the PM himself is demonstrating as a role model. Because, see, uh, let's go to the next slide. We will not spend more time on this. Okay. So what are the steps in 1S? To be shifted to proper place, can this be repaired, re refabricated, or no use for us, but can we use it in some other department? Can it fetch some value in the market? No further use to be sold. I remember the first organization which I had was a tire organization. The scrappage used to be very high, around 3%. 
say somewhere around 60 or 70 kgs. But then we found that these tires can be used after mixing with steel waste from Tisco or Telco. This can be used for construction of road. Now also, when the roads are being constructed, a part of the road, which is it, it's Kothar plus mixture of rubber plus mixture of iron waste. Now it's found a way for consumption of iron waste. But whereas if someone of you have been traveling to Jamshedpur, there used to be huge, huge, you know, uh, sacks or huge packs of uh, iron waste lying on the on the roadside. Similarly, a tire company or a rubber manufacturing company would have a lot of waste. So each of like the first shifted to place. Now consider for instance in one organization I found the loading of finished goods was happening next to incoming gate. So that means the finished product had to be transported from the out gate close to out gate out, out from the factory and transported back to incoming incoming gate and loaded on the vehicle or transport. So there was waste of movement which was happening and expenses were being bound to or even labor was being employed for that. Similarly, uh, I saw a power plant in which there were equipment which were lying in on ground, which, which, which were of no use because the technology had changed. The power plant had changed from, uh, you know, from coal based manufacturing to oil based manufacturing. But those same equipment could be used in those power plants which were used for coal, coal based. So they were rather than buying new coal based equipment, they shifted it there. It was a huge saving running in Corona. So each of this line, my friend, is is very critical from a deeper understanding from the relevance to the organization. But this is a compilation based on the experience. Now, second thing is, uh, thank you, thank you, Bata. Second thing which we have to do is, I mean, in the first, we found a place for unnecessary. In second, what? Why is it necessary? What is the reason it became unnecessary? Is it because of technology change? Is it because people are hiding things? Is it because uh, uh, it's because uh, you know this? I mean, people want to think keep items close to the manufacturing operation. So the reason has to be found, and this is the most interesting and challenging thing. Is it is not the important to only change location of unnecessary. It's also important to find out what is leading to unnecessary, and then working on that cause to ensure that in future unnecessary doesn't occur there. I mean. Can we increase? You see, the second option is can we increase life of such a like? Uh, I mean, suppose there is a, a, a link which is breaking down at, at, at 10 days and it's lying there. Once you, you quickly change the link and want to start manufacturing. So can the link life can be changed from 15 days to two and a half months so that unnecessary items do not fail 
unnecessary accumulation is it because the inventory is very high is it because the purchasing is more than what is being consumed can we get alternate item for more life is it is a disposal strategy required so that you know accumulation of unnecessary lesser lesser so important thing is not only to do one as also to work on the what is leading to that situation asking for one as we should not allow accumulation of items next next week. now second s which is or which is sorts set in order set in order depends upon where to keep depends upon frequency of use if frequency of use is minutes hours days months shape and size if the size is huge then even if you frequency is maybe once in a day the die is being changed it cannot be kept closer to the uh, operation unit otherwise operation operation place of frequency will increase radically it still needs to be kept somewhere outside but the more of mode of transportation is such that the transportation there is lesser delay by which the item gets shifted to the place where it is required or the or the process is designed in such a way that 5 minutes before the change is required the item is shifted easy retrieval and storing of the goods especially in store i mean suppose you which is quickly required the storage has to be organized at lower levels not at the top level safety while unloading in store so all these aspects are very critical while setting them in order in frequency of usage shape and size easy retrieval and storing of the position safety normally see people feel that 1s and 2s and 3s are very easy and in india uh, i mean when you go to new organization the person says he can do it in one month it's sir it's very easy but i have seen in japan or great organization in india like you know you have uh, sundaram kalyan and sundaram fasteners who took more than 4 years because if you implement 5s thoroughly then you have done problem solving you have done innovation you have done benchmarking everything i mean you pick up any of these concepts they are a complete package in itself and can make radical change only thing is to the depth to which you first understand that concept and then make it happen like frequency of use looks like you know uh, very easy uh, but in a in a insurance back end or bpo i mean where the standards using which the insurance policies are processed the guidelines are they kept closer or is there is software developed by which the software itself rejects an item within i mean there is a company which i saw which did 5s and reduced this time from 15 days to 30 seconds by developing a software these top three things which are most critical and must be were automatically rejected and sent back acceptance was done only after those three things were there and the software was done so
Sir, your mic has mute, sir. Sir, please unmute your mic. Can you go to next slide, please? Uh, in second S itself, how to optimize inventory. That means how to optimize cost of store. How to develop visuals for quick identification. How to eliminate the storage of expiry date items. I mean, today there are sensors which have developed, but uh, but uh, I, I remember in a in a FMCG company there were chemicals which were being used which had expiry life, and also in a small 50 grams liquid which used to be scented would cost you in thousands. So there were electrical gadgets developed which will send an alarm to let the storekeeper know that this is likely to be scrapped in the next 15, 20 days. And also, if it is scrapped, then there were different alarms. So there were of innovative techniques which were used to you know optimize inventory so again it says each line is a small uh, you know description but involves a lot of thinking to find out what to do can we go to next slide please ashish Like keep things neatly in appropriate place. I mean, from previous statement, you will find out what is an appropriate place. To keep appropriate places is one, which is retrievability is quicker, place or cost of operation is lesser, and visuals for identification, note down the item being kept. Take a photograph and convert it into PowerPoint. I'll show this. This is a concept called fixed point photography, which I'll show to you later. Prepare alphabetic checklist and location by checklist. Take, take care of copy of list. In fact, developing a list in five years is very easy, but compliance to less that list becomes the job. So in order to make sure one S, two S, and three S are kept. This is a management process which is prepared. The management and the grassroots operator every day conducts a shop floor visit. I mean, there are three selected items. There is a scheduler prepared, and early morning, the CEO and his direct report have their shop floor meeting while walking around and also checking along with the shop floor employee what is the level of compliance to the uh, to the to the plan which is in place so while five there is no ignorance to manufacturing manufacturing and five ways are given equal focus because in order to manufacture two items if you are keeping 20 items on shop floor in those days we used to do it Doing, doing audit. Today, some people have decided to call lean, but making lean was equally possible with 5S. Today, it is being done with lean. Next slide, please. Uh, Ashish. Now, uh, there are thoughts which are prepared, trials which are done before standardization. Let's go to the next one, which is standardization. Third is. Third S is shine. Now, different places need different kind of material for cleaning. As I did share with you, cleaning means not only cleaning, but also identified potential failures. 
and preparing a plan so that the potential failure that situation doesn't occur which includes preparing cleaning calendar frequency of cleaning way of cleaning cleaning equipment to be used safety during and after cleaning now all this is an input to developing a process which is before us standardization that means there will be process for cleaning which will be displayed near all critical machines even process for storage process for identifying which is likely to be a potential scrap material not only within the organization but also at the retailers end and also at the storage of the consumers end because in fast moving consumer good or like medicine etc waste is returned and charged to the manufacturing organization so it becomes critical i mean because one of the uh, thing items which i saw while i was doing five years for a pharma company most of the shopkeepers in the even in good cities like delhi also switch off the means with where is the temperature for the medicine to be kept is below minus 5 it's a highly sensitive medicine so this is a raat ko to in night time nobody comes and the temperature due to their mind was below minus 5 where is in freezer it is below minus 5 but not in refrigerator so there was you know Uh, there was a study done to prove this fact and there were sensors were used to find out what is the temperature after what time the temperature goes below the limit okay shall we go to next slide please why cleaning is required what are the root causes can we eliminate it again can we reduce it can we el eliminate the dust from occurring at that point if you would have seen manufacturing operations painting has become a totally different man manufacturing line using robotics in order to reduce waste in order to eliminate paint being spread all over the place and also to take care of the health of employees working it's become totally robotic in most of the standard organizations and this started with five years activity it also addresses the health of the people who work on the field can we go to next one please uh, there are trials done before an idea has to make sure that standardized and it works the next slide please So five S, four S is standardization. Actually, the working is one S, two S, and three S. But if you don't do four S, one S and two S and three S will continue to be repeated. So four S is critical to standardize the practice, and this standardize the process, process for audit, process for cleaning, process for for you know escalation. process for uh, prevention process for predictive action process for reducing uh, increasing life cycle of a component uh, process for immediate correction that means kappa and uh, uh, and and breakdown reduction so the fourth size is actually to maintain first three years shall we go to next slide please uh no there are tech check sheet which are developed suppose i mean i've seen a plant i mean a rubber plant reducing and uh, using only 60% of existing that means 40% of space was created which was used for some other product manufacturer 
Moda, moda is identified. Moda means waste. Moda is uh, normally a term used. Tim wood, T tim wood. T, which is uh, was a word coined long time back, somewhere in 1987. Also again, it's being used in lean now today. First T stands for talent utilization. If there is a person working on a unit for which a PhD is being used and what you require is only a simple graduation, that is talent utilization. Second T is time. Third I is inventory. M is motion. O, w is waiting. O is overproduction. Then second O is overprocessing and D is defects. All this is waste. And there are uh, studies which are done to find out T T move. And sometimes this T T moves, not only sometimes, but largely in the organization. This is to the best organization would have it 20 to 25 percent of the sales. The average organization would go as high as 40 percent of sales value would be going based in TT mode, which is again earlier we used to find it using 5S. Now, sometimes people use lean methodology, but 5S is good enough to find out talent utilization, transportation, inventory, motion, waiting, overproduction, overprocessing and defects. Again, safety and hygiene, disposal schedule, visual information system developed to an extent. Disposal methodology also because these days because of a lot of focus by regulator on dispo, disposal of different items needs specific techniques. You can't throw away a chemical waste. So disposal techniques also are being developed, scheduled and audit sheets with evolution criteria. Shall we go to the next one, please? Fifth is sustain. Sustain is again the management. Four and five are management. First three are actually sort, set in order, and shine our operation. Start with the leadership team. Build the infrastructure. That means sometimes you may have to create a place to keep uh, rejected items, identify them. Even these have become a must be in ISO 9000, ISO 27001, and OSAS, etc. Launch communication that means everybody needs to be made aware. Train teams on 5S techniques, begin 5S pilots. I remember in one organization we used to have, I mean, on a Friday evening, our Core team will go and take a photograph of best best desk and worst desk. And on a Monday morning when people came to office, the best desk and the worst desk would be displayed. And I used to have people calling me at they will come at 8:30 and then request that please remove my photograph from them. I'm on the worst desk. So there are various innovative ways in which people adopt. And the best desk, again, best machine, we used to call them uh, and ask them to, uh, I mean, adopt different techniques, either give them gifts uh, during the Wali days uh, along with their spouse, or also ask them to do, come and do plantation along with their spouse and children. And on that plant, their names and photographs would be displayed. Begin 5S pilots, establish best practices, develop a full rollout plan. These are the seven steps which are adopted. Can we go to next? Uh, Ashish. Actually, 5S is to work in a healthier, cleaner, less staggered, and uh, hygienic environment which makes you feel happy. Uh, we used to do certain uh, cultural shift trainings also as a part of 5S. 
so clean up and organize your work area share your input with your leaders so that the tools you need will be available to you continuous education uh, i mean i remember when automobile organization had kept uh, flower pots next to their uh, machines and uh, president of the company whenever he walked through which was more than twice in a year twice in a month he would pick up if there is a dust next to, uh, to on, on the flower these were rose flowers and those flower pots were named after the person working on that machine shall we go next please these are various workplace become cleaner shop floor and office operation become easier and safer results are visible to everyone let's shall we go next one please i give this is a example of fixed point photography a machine has been photographed or a store has been photographed from the same spot and when you go to manufacturing organization this spot is identified and whenever you take a photograph next time again we stand at the same place and take the photograph so that people can see the difference in both pictures you can see the difference before five years and after five years so you can imagine what benefits shall you go to the next photograph please next again uh, this is again a place which is five years sort has been done set in order has been done let's go next see this is a you know wastage because the truck is standing in a way where the person has to go behind and load again the truck is kept in a way so that the person can walk and keep it in truck without walking much so motion is reduced let's go next one these are again you know uh, displayed items uh, you find them i mean so it switch should not be uh, you know put on machine machines switch should not be put on using left hand because heart is very close to left again is you must clean your hands not be wet because the water is a, you know it, it becomes dangerous to use um now operate the switch quickly don't take time because of the there'll be spark so these are various things you may imagine this used to be there in japan in 1985 or 86 when i traveled there but now there in even small manufacturing organization even a small uh, supplier would have these whether it's the chemical manufacturing these are being used can we go to next please each company has specific needs for documentation and holding the movement use and value of material equipment tools inventories and products the company is red tag this is a red tag whatever you find is a space which can be better utilized or an item which is unnecessary or needs to be sorted or set in order we use a red tag concept in five ways shall we go to next one please is a red tag uh, just go back it's not visible to me uh, go back no no go back you see uh, again open red tag okay like this is what kind of item is it raw material in process is it, what is the name of the item item number quantity so there is a day on which uh, two hours are spent in putting red tags red tag when you say put red tag means is it a unnecessary item is it kept at a wrong location is it a safety hazard hazard is it an obsolete item or some other thing this red tag that's called as a red tag day once in a month two hours are spent by employee employee of the organization 
and the person who gets puts maximum red tag or above a certain level sometimes there are organization have seen more than 5000 tax people and we recognize those those from those areas which with maximum tax or those individuals which could maximum tax so this is what we called is wealth in lying waste in the organization so there is a red tag area to which all these items with red tag are moved and then there is a team which is formed to dispose them i mean on an average organization in a uh, i've seen large organization each red tag gets you more than 30 to 40 crore worth of items lying which can be reused or sold out or can be absorbed somewhere else in the company or scrap at least the space is saved even if they are scrap let's go to next slide uh, thank you very much uh, thanks for your patience i know there have been two breakdowns so this is in brief but i always say that this brief has to be seen from a very deeper perspective interpretation of each line with reference to your organization or your function is very critical i know one of the sugar manufacturing organization the cane which is wasted after taking out the juice which is converted to sugar the cane used to occupy 30% of the shop floor till we time when we are doing in 5s we decided this cane with to be shifted to another location where this was being used for burning of uh, for burning and this instead of using oil for burning of generator or the uh, switching on generator we started using cane and we wasted we saved lot of space as well as space saved lot of money which was being spent on oil based generators so it's a very rewarding phenomena any i mean i any questions i saw two questions earlier mega mega yes sir i'll read it out for you uh, the first question is what is the relation between lean management and 5s yes, i did explain that later 5s is is one of the enablers because tim board was being used for for 5s earlier now tim board is being used for lean i mean lean would not take care of scrap lying on the shop floor lean would not take care of uh, i mean uh, 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 would not you know take care of the market returns it would not take care of store the sector whereas to some extent 5s is a foundation to lean i mean where lean has got uh, you know uh, is much bigger in comparison to 5s but i would agree with you they are both aligned but if you do not know 5s going to lean would not be appropriate because 5s helps you to document processes so the next question is after covid situation when the working style is changed totally and everything is converted in digital mode so in that case what needs to be implemented in 5s system see no, no i think in that case i think is i am actually coordinating a study Uh, for B spin, maybe some of B spin is a is a Bangalore software producer certification. We were software producing our producers are going through a big challenge in COVID situation, and we are trying to discuss how impact on human beings can be minimized in in in, in people working from home or people. working from anywhere uh see as far as 5s is concerned if you are working from home then 
you will have to use 5s at that location also i have seen anganwadi workers in kerala using 5s and there was a huge impact of walk in of potential you know pregnant ladies to that place because the place was clean so similarly usage of 5s in working from home is equally critical as critical of usage of work you 5s in office 5s is a basic concept or a thought process i mean uh, uh, see i remember once uh, we invited uh, uh, in qci conference only quality you know council of india conference only an anganwadi team from kerala to make a presentation and they won an award because they had internalized 5s totally in their organization and this also helped them to reduce turn around time of the of the of the patients who used to come to that place for guidance or or you know or to take care of minor injuries because things were better organized so similarly i mean on a, any computer system suppose i have not organized or i have unnecessary items lying on my computer or communication which are lying in my computer for the last maybe 6 months open to use them sometimes will increase your cycle time on retrieval of retrieval of relevant items on your it system so i mean again as i did mention to you this concept has got huge usage only if you decide to make it happen is your desk uh, on which you operate at home organized properly is the are the items in the computer system is your scanner dust free is your uh, literature or standards in in hand in hand distance or if they are required only once in 6 months are you keeping them at a place far away have you created a temporary storage because to my mind a bpo or an it environment would need uh, to work from other places than office so uh, it depends on how do you plan think innovate and use 5s as a philosophy any other question when i was working for uh, my first organization uh, where people used to live in colony we used to have a competition of houses and the presentation would be done by housewives only and uh, we found it very interesting even schools also have uh, 5s implemented and they make presentations but now i mean so it's a basic you know it's a basic philosophical change i remember my husband when we went to uh, uh, for a house audit was shouting to his child that where is the dust on this table can you imagine a person looking for a dust we asked him why you are looking for a dust because this person had written down an important telephone number in dust without realizing that he has to have a paper suppose he is a high flying officer then i i mean every i mean even you would have a Uh, you know writing pad next to your bed where the call gets and you record that you cannot write it on your home i mean uh, on your uh, hand 
and then start looking for it on your hand. So these are again five ways philosophies, uh, thought level changes. Uh, so it's, it's, to my mind, it's applicable today also. Uh, I mean, in where people are working from home. I mean, any other question? Yes, sir. Due to paucity of time, we cannot take all the questions. So this will be the last question by Dr. Saril. Are there authorized 5S auditors or accreditation available for healthcare? Healthcare itself has got a GMP, which is, uh, you know, and there are GMP auditors, which doesn't go to that depth, or a hospital also doesn't go to that depth. There's no accredited body, uh, but there are bodies which have developed. Uh, I mean, like my company also does certification, but so this uh, certification is uh, QCI also has got list of auditors. QCFI also has got. My organization has also got. Uh, we have evolved the checklist, but it's not accredited. Whereas I think you should be in a better position for hospital. I think NABQ will have some accredited body which does this GMP audit. I mean, there's no accredited body, but there are organizations which are doing certification on prices. It's like something like, you know, even I am Ahmedabad is not to about till about two years back was not accredited. So they were doing only diploma, not degree. But uh, recognition of that body is, is very high across the PR. Similarly, I mean, we have done certification for NTPC, some of the plants of NTPC in India. Uh, there's no accredited body as, as of now, or not known to me. Uh, thank you, sir, for answering the questions. Uh, I would like to request everyone to switch on their cameras for a group picture. I request everyone to switch on their cameras for a group picture. Before we end, Ashish, please this let will me also know help. click the picture. There's yes, one sir. more question coming from Manoj Arora. Okay. I request everyone to switch on their cameras for a group picture. Are we done, Ashish? I cannot see everyone. Wait for a few seconds. Mega, you may continue. Okay, ma'am. Uh, before we end this webinar on behalf of NBQP, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to our speaker, Mr. Arun Malik, for sharing the informative session. I hope it was useful and informative to all. Once again, thanks to all the participants for the interactive session. We would be sharing a feedback form with you. Request everyone to spare some time and give us the feedback as your feedback is valuable to us. Thanks but from NVQP team. I can see most of the screens have implemented 5S. Ashish, are we good? Thank you so much for all the participants for switching on their videos. Now we are ending this webinar. Thank you so much. Thank you. All the best. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so Thank much, you, sir. sir. How the entire self-assessment process is happening and how the school is uh,
uploading the evidence in the videos can be done. So that also I can, uh, you know, do for. Uh, uh, is there some question left out? They can be sent to me.